What's up, you guys? So I wanted to talk to you guys really quickly about Get That C University. That is the platform that I recently started, and I'm super excited about it because we have some exciting things prepared for you guys. It's a platform to help pre-PAs get into PA school and PA students get through PA school. I know that you guys are really gonna enjoy it, so I want you guys to go to getthatcuniversity.com and sign up so you can be the first to know and notified when it drops because we have some very, very great things for you guys that is going to help get you guys that C. All right, so go over there right now and sign up at getthatcuniversity.com. What's up, you guys? It's Madonna. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to talk to you all today about the state of the PA job market. Um, I know that a lot of you are nervous. Uh, you know, you're graduating. You want to like get a job, and the virus. And you know what, what virus I'm talking about. I don't want YouTube to censor my videos, so I can't say but you already know what I'm talking about. Um, but the virus has kind of upended things and like turned our nation and the world on its head. So it's affecting all facets of our life and the job market is included with that. So I wanted to just touch on that and talk to you guys about that and give you a great video today. So with respect to the PA job market, uh, it was already something that was like booming and growing and things like that projected to continue to grow over the next like 10 years. Um, very, very excited about that. And, you know, we were really kind of just kind of riding this wave of the profession and um, getting to know more about the profession. And then the virus hit. And because of that, everything kind of stopped. So with respect to the PA job market and with everything else, honestly, more so with respect to inpatient stuff, but also outpatient, there had been a hiring freeze. I have a lot of individuals that I know of that were unable to get jobs that they were in a sense promised to get or jobs that they were in the throngs of obtaining. So they were interviewing and then the hospital comes back and says, oh, I'm sorry, you know, we're in a hiring freeze because of the virus. We don't know like how much money we're gonna be getting and we don't really have the capital to now put into a new hire. So therefore we can't hire you at this moment in time. And so I know a lot of people that was like kind of in that boat. And then also people that were just looking for a job and because of hiring freezes you know more specifically in inpatient stuff they weren't able to get those jobs or get interviews for those jobs because no one was hiring and with respect now to the outpatient aspect of things you know people had to close down their offices for months weeks and months on hand uh, other individuals had to like close it down for good therefore they weren't able to hire new personnel and really even keep the staff that they currently had so that was an aspect of things and speaking with about keeping the staff that they currently had uh, a lot of what this virus has done has caused a lot of individuals a lot of pas to either be furloughed or laid off now, what's the difference between being furloughed or laid off? So when it comes to being furloughed, what that means is that you, you're still an employee, right? You still have all of the rights and the benefits of an employee. Uh, your hours may re be reduced. Uh, maybe you're going to work only once a week as opposed to five days a week. Uh, maybe you're going to work only twice a month as opposed to your regularly scheduled you know, work week, however you were working before but you still retain all of your benefits and all of your rights of an, of an employee because you are still employed by the business. Therefore, a furlough is only for like a finite time. There's a number on like how long you're gonna be furloughed for. And after that furlough lifts, then you come back to your regularly scheduled job. Uh, so that is the beauty of a furlough, but the difference between being furloughed and laid off is that when you're laid off, you're fired in a sense, you know, like you no longer are an employee of that business and therefore you don't have any of the rights or benefits of an employee. So now you need to be looking for a new job. 
And so there have been a lot of PAs, a lot of individuals that have been either furloughed or laid off, and that has affected their daily life as a PA um, in one way, shape, form, or another. Meaning maybe you're no longer practicing and you're actively looking for a job or you're practicing very minuscule hours. So that has also been something that this virus has done to the PA job market. But what does that mean moving forward, right? Uh, you know, like there's been all of this, like the virus, this gloom, doom, what does that mean? Well, what that means is that there is, you know, likely an end to this. And so there are places that are still hiring PAs because there's a virus, which is, you know, something that PAs and physicians and nurses deal with on a daily basis that needs to be contained. And therefore, there are places that are actually hiring. You just kind of have to search them out. The places that are actually like searching out PAs to bring them in are those like temp agents. And now, obviously, not everybody wants to be at a temp agency, but there are places that are hiring because you're, you, they need the jobs. They need people to come and work at their hospitals. And so there have been a lot of PAs that are now temp PAs or travel PAs. So that has been a shift from what was before because they still have to maintain their life and the lives of their family. That has been some of the various, various different nuances that has been taking place because of the virus. But please like have no fear <laughs> you know there is a light at the end of the tunnel uh there is you know beauty um at the end of all of this because as i said earlier on in the video there is a boom right there's all there's been this boom this wave this kind of like just rage, I guess you could say, of the PA profession kind of moving in a positive direction. Uh, it's been projected as, you know, one of the top, if not the top profession over the last five years, um, and it's rapidly growing. And I continue to see that moving forward. Like I said, there's a virus that needs to be contained and therefore you need providers that will help contain that. And so as these hiring freezes continue to lift, then you'll see that we're going to need more providers to come in and help stem the flow of those individuals that weren't able to see their doctors in person on a regular basis or you know those people that are dealing with all of the various different complications from the virus that you know we don't really hear about on a consistent basis and things like that so there is a beauty to all of this uh, even though we can't necessarily see it right now as we're going through this gauntlet so hold hold on hang in there stay strong continue to do your research on your your various different job markets and you know you know, make make those necessary sacrifices that you may have to make to continue to stem your life as we move forward and navigate these times all right, uh, but that is just a quick snapshot of what uh, the virus has done to the PA job market and really the job market uh, in the healthcare profession as a whole. Uh, if you have any other questions for me, please leave them in the comment sections below. Hit up getthatcuniversity.com and sign up so that you can be among the first to know when that new platform that I'm starting drops and also follow me on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.